Hey, some Roy residents have noticed a change in the water pressure to their sprinklers and a fishy smell in the water. It may be attributed to clam shrimp getting caught in their secondary water filters. One Roy resident took Fox 13 News reporter Darian De Brule through his process of getting rid of the little crustaceans. The past few days, Benjamin Pearson has been out cleaning his home's secondary water filter more than he would like. Past two days, um, I've done it. This will be the fourth time cleaning it. So, yesterday I did it, and I turned the sprinklers on to, to do a cycle, and. It was, hadn't gone through five minutes before it was low water pressure again, and they were just super clogged. The culprit, possibly clam shrimp. You can really tell when they're there clogging because it smells super fishy. Like if you want to smell it, I don't know. But you can tell. Oh, yeah. that's so fishy. This isn't the Roy community's first run-in with the little crustaceans. This is what Pearson's filter looked like in 2018. In 2018 and 2021, the Roy Water Conservancy District confirmed there were clam shrimp clogging some water filters. Although they have not yet confirmed that this year, Pearson and other Roy residents say what's on their filters looks and smells the same as years past. It's kind of gross, huh? I made a post in the Roy page and... Uh, some people have said that they're here every year, but I haven't seen them since 2018. Chuck Hawkins, professor of aquatic ecology and watershed sciences at Utah State University, says water going into secondary water systems often carries small aquatic organisms. That water comes directly from springs, streams, etc., and so that water is often used for irrigation purposes and not drinking water purposes. It will certainly have all sorts of organisms in it, so it's not surprising at all that clam shrimp would end up on whatever additional filter. Although they may be an inconvenience to homeowners, Hawkins says seeing these organisms is no cause for concern. We use invertebrates as indicators of water quality health. Certainly the presence of these organisms isn't indicative of there being a problem per se. It's good that we're seeing them. What I do is I turn the water off at the main uh, water valve line coming into my house, but I'll take the filter off. So then what I do is I'll just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wash it down with the water. I'll just go blow the lines out and wait for the water to seep back down so I can stick the filter on and hopefully it stays unclogged for a while. The Roy Water Conservancy District didn't want to go on camera, but they did say if you find these in your water filter system that you can go to their website, RoyWater.com, for resources on how to get rid of them. In Roy, I'm Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.